ay makalaagan ako si Kalaagan Fritz at ito ang laagan sa Subo Pageantry All Access. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel at laagan sa Subo and click the bell button for notification. Like our official Facebook page at laagan sa Subo. It's another pageant episode and another pageant king na naman ang machichikahan natin sa araw na to. Help me welcome Hari ng Pilipinas 2024 who will be representing the Queen City of the South out Cebu City, we have Mr. Andrew Piencinavis. Tama ako. Oh, yeah. Hi! Hi! Kumusta ulit? Thank you yeah. so much for guessing at lagan sa Subo. At last again, second time. Diba? Second time. Ang hot naman niya. <laughs> Mga kalaagan. I just Your go. <laughs> diba? No, kumusta naman? How was the competition so far, if I may ask? Um, It's good. It's good. But actually, um, there's no preparation pa because I've been busy for a couple of months since November. And then December... And then now, sinulog. So it's there are a lot of events, um, photo shoots. So I wasn't able to prepare well. But I think I can do it naman sa. So, uh, I, I just really wanted to enjoy this pageant. So. Oh, perform mo kang ready naman. Mas pumayat ka ngayon na mas yeah. firm, ha? Diba? So now I know, ko, now I know how to, to lose weight na. Ah, being stressed lang <laughs> being ba to? Being stressed. Ay, yeah. nakakaloko. Huwag naman yung stressed lahat. Alright, now here at Nagan sa Subo, like the usual thing, but there's a twist. So first, we have the boiling question. Okay. There are boiling questions here. There are four boiling questions, but there are only two boiling questions that you will be answering. Okay. There is also four hashtag per dalawang hashtag lang din ang explain mo. Okay. Okay. The question is, are you ready? Uh, I'm not sure, but yeah. Yes! Okay. Pick your first boiling question and give it to me. Ah. Uh. Alright. Oh, ito agad. Your first boiling question is, what has been the biggest challenge in your life and how did you overcome it? So I think the most challenging one right now was, uh, I'm not sure if everybody knows, but I'm already a single dad. So my, oh. uh, me and my partner separated uh, after, after she, she went to Las Vegas. So I think the most challenging for me now is taking good care of my son and having, you know, having uh, bonding with my son at the same time, providing for him. So it's it's really a struggle because sometimes you know I'm very busy like almost every day I, I I go to 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 shoots so every time I go home he's already asleep and sometimes uh, um he don't sometimes he don't recognize me as his dad so that's a very uh-huh. struggle for me that's a very um, emotional for me and I'm what I'm doing right now is every time I don't have any um any shoots or I'm not really busy I prefer you know, taking good care of my son and then um, spending time with my son um, over over my friends. So sometimes my friends will chat. Now, where are you? Let's hang out. You know, I prefer I prefer to to spend it to, to my son. So this is so this is a free time of mine. So I prefer to spend it to my son rather than my friends. So, yeah. oh. It's a very struggle, but yeah. You know, adulthood. I ha Because knowing you naman, yeah, when we were, the last time we talked, di ba, kiniklik mo nga siya, do, no? Very in love. Oh, very in love pa nun, ha? No, sorry to hear about that, but I do believe you would be a very good daddy. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best. Actually, I'll correct that one. A very good hot daddy. Diba? Pick your next boiling question. All right. Uh, here. Okay. <clears throat> Your next boiling question is income inequality is still high in the Philippines. The gap between the rich and the poor remains. How do you or how do we close that gap? So right now my good uh, my, my advocacy is about education man. So mm-hmm. so um there are really difference between well educated and well trained. So for for us here, Mangod, um, uh, actually we cannot do anything uh, about it because even though we we send a message to the higher to the government, uh, it it needs to be higher salary because you know our struggles uh, our struggles is is real. But since again we cannot do anything about that, but what I can suggest or what I can tell to people as well, especially to student that. You know, my advocacy is about education. You know, it's 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 a very simple word. It's it's just only one word. But sometimes we, uh, 
most of us think that we already know what what education is but you know you know Filipino mentality that you need to go to school in order for you to um, to graduate you need to graduate in order for you to have a work so our mentality is about working right yes so maybe for, for me the real essence of education is you need to go to school in order for you to learn so if you learn you graduate it doesn't really matter if you you you're a summa cum laude magla cum laude graduated with colors so i think it doesn't really matter the i, I think for me matter is you're enjoying your years yes. of, of being a student like let's say for example you're you're studying for four uh eight years so four years in high school four years in in college and you are not really enjoying yourself you know being a student instead of enjoying yourself you are um you are being you know pressured so I think that's the main problem here as well um, for the education mm -hmm. because if we are all, if we are all educated we already know what you no know, not not only a worker but only to do some 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 extra jobs and mm -hmm. some some do mm -hmm. some do best uh, some do business mm -hmm. so I think that's that's um, that's how we we can we cannot push our governments to to higher the salary but for me as a single dad um, I, I have a lot of works, but I am not regretting finishing college. You know, I'm not. I'm not um, because right now I'm doing a lot of jobs. I'm a photographer. I'm a freelance, you know, freelance model, um, side hustles, so a, a lot more. So for me, if 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 we are all educated, if we have a good education, I think we can we can address that one. In if for our future generation, if they are all educated. Now they can, um, you know, sabi nga nila, ang kabataan ng pag-asa ng bayan. Mm -hmm, so correct. if we are all educated, our, our future, uh, our, our young there who are still studying, if we are all educated and they, were, they will be the future leader of our country, then that's the time that they can, they can, change, they can change it. So I think that's, for me, that's, that's the real, the solution of, of today's uh, today's problem to mm -hmm. to educate younger people that that time that we they will they will be the one handling the the government or they will be the one the future leader they can correct what is the um, the wrongdoings of the past government yes naman no education yun naman talaga yung one thing na walang makakuha sa yes. and also tama descarte lang yun. yes descarte okay now Let's have the hashtag. Pick your first hashtag. Hashtag. Oh, sorry, okay, sorry, it's sorry. Okay. okay. All right. Your first hashtag is hashtag gender equality. Okay. So uh, for me, gender equality, I'm not really against gender equality. And I have a lot of friends that are part of the LGBTQ community. Mm -hmm. really, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they're really fun. Um, um, at the same time, they are more they are more provider than most uh, some some of the men. So I'm not really against that. It's just that um, may, maybe for for me, we we need to educate people as well. And there are also people that you cannot really please everyone, you know. Mm -hmm. You cannot really please everyone. It's just that a matter of um, acceptance. By the end of the day, it's really up. To, it, it's really up to you if if it's either you'll accept, mm -hmm. uh, if if you'll accept what they're what they're saying, or just reject it. Just be happy. Just be happy of what you are. For as long as you are not, you are not bullying someone. You are correct, not. Correct, um, correct. You are not doing something to everyone. For as long as you are being a great person, it doesn't really matter about your your gender. So, hmm. I'm not really, yeah. Tama I'm really good. I'm, I'm really okay with that. Yes, gender equality, diba? Um, who are we to judge then? Yeah. Diba? Yeah. Okay. Pick your last but not the least. Yeah. Hashtag. All right. And your hashtag is hashtag brotherhood. All right. So brotherhood, um, you know. I'm a type of a person that you know I'm into modeling, I'm into photography, mm -hmm. and for them I have a lot of friends. But actually, I, I I have a lot of friends, but I can only say that I I only have a few brother. You know, wow. uh, I brotherhood. Brotherhood, uh, brotherhood for me, my goodness, it's not just about hanging out with friends. It's not just about hanging out in in good times. You can say brotherhood, or you can tell that. That person is your friend, and at the same time, your brother, your brotherhood, is especially if you are of if they are there, 
um, in times that you are in need, in times that you, you have nothing. So if they are there, that's, that's the true essence of brotherhood. Because again, you can, you can have a lot of friends, but you can, you can only tell who are, who are true friends, which is you can call a brother. Yes, yeah. naman. Mukhang sila is pamilya na rin. Yeah. Yes, pamilya yes. na rin. Alright, mga kalaga. Now, before we proceed with our next segment, I would like to thank first our sponsor. I would like to <coughs> personally thank Cebu Century Plaza Hotel. Thank you so much for the accommodation. I would like to personally thank also Timplora Dermatoleka for always making me fresh because I am Timplora Touch. And trust only the expert trust Team Flora Touch. And also I'd like to personally thank also Desire by Salon Expert for making my hair beautiful and nails beautiful. Thank you very much. Now let's lighten up, let's do it up now since it's your second time, my ibang segment tayo because your next segment is Jojo Wain or Trotro Pahin. Uh. So, pwede na siya nito. <laughs> pwede na. Okay. So, may mga pictures ako. Papakita sa'yo. Sabihin mo na ako, Jojo Wine or Trotro Pahin. Game lang ito. Disclaimer, yeah. just a game. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Jojo Wine or Trotro Pahin, Miss Universe, Catriona Gray. Uh, Trotro Pahin. Uy, bakit? You know, I'm... I'm really um I'm that type of person that I'm not really into to high end you know Aww. personalities I I because for me man good because high, for me if if, if 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 mga gantong mangka um mahirap mahirap, mahirap. so yeah totropahen totropahen yung yung tipo ko sa yung mga mga kuan lang mga mga probinsya na tayo probinsya na yeah <laughs> <laughs> so, okay okay Jojoa in Otro Pahin, Samantha Bernardo, Miss Grand First Runner Up. Same. Oh, what Same. Her. Again, so um, I, I think Totro Pahin because they have a lot of friends mm. and I think they're they're really fun being with. So, mas maganda siya ka tropa. Oh, mas maganda ka tropa. Kasi so, bakla din tayo, babaeng bakla yeah. tayo. Eh. <laughs> okay. Jojoa in Otro Pahin, Pia Alonso words ba? Pia Alonso is, she's my type. No, before uh, she's a, she's a kind of morena, no. She, uh, she's a kind of morena, <laughs> but again. Totropahin pa. Totropahin. Provinciano kasi ako ako provinciano. Mga simple lang kasi. Mga simple din ako. Very simple. Okay. Jojo wa ino totropahin. Miss World Megan Young. I really love Megan Young. I she's 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 my type. And I really like her, you know. Mm -hmm. Maybe for Megan Young, Sigur, she's an exception. So. Ah, Jojo! I, I, I really like her physique. I really like uh, yung, yung, uh, yung simple face. Din simple din siya. Yeah, oh. Gusto yung tulugo. Mm. Simple naman din ako. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, can you please invite our lagan sa Subu viewers where we can follow you, your social media platform, and how we can support you for Hari ng Pilipinas 2024. <clears throat> Go ahead. Hi everyone, I am inviting you everyone to support um, me for Hari na Pilipinas 2024 and the coronation will be on 28th in Dumaguete City. You can follow my page. Um, also, I'm a photographer at the same time, can I? Yes, please so, do! I'm a photographer. You can also follow my page, Memory Click Studio. So if you're looking for a photographer, a videographer, mm -hmm. you can search me. Um, my Instagram is andot96, so A-N-D-O-T-96. And my Facebook is um, Andrew Piancenaves. Um, yeah, you can just search that, Andrew Piancenaves. So again, thank you so much, Fritz, for inviting me here. Again, for the yeah. second Yeah, so once again, Makalagan, our Hari ng Pilipinas, who will be representing the Queen City of the South, Cebu City, we have Mr. Andrew Piancenaves. Thank you again. Thank you for, so much, Fritz. No, thank you for, for guessing here. It's an honor to have you. Congratulations on being part of Hari ng Pilipinas. Yes. I'm very proud of you and good luck for your upcoming you, competitions. You, You're welcome. Thank you. Ay, nakatachin na naman tayo. Oh, yun na naman ni. May hina kong ganyan here. Alright, and also don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel at lagan sa Sugbo and click the bell button for notification. Like our official Facebook page at lagan sa Sugbo. You may also follow me on my TikTok account, Instagram, and Facebook at Fritz Gerald Alcaraz. Once again, ako si Kalaagan Fritz saying, stay safe, be a responsible Kalaagan, and this is Laagan sa Sugbo Pageantry All Access. All access.
Thank you.